Hi guys, I did a bit of maintenance work on my water clock a few nights back and it was working but I think what's happened is it's it's used up whatever ions there were floating around in the fresh water and it's now lost power entirely it's not enough power there to actually make the clock run I've got the case off at the moment because I was going to adjust the time and then realised it wasn't running anyway. So what I'm going to do is put a few grains of salt in there. Not a lot, just a little. See if that's enough to get it moving. You might be able to see that arm is just flexing a little bit. Don't know if the light's catching it right. It just started moving a tiny bit as soon as I put some salt in there. Let's try giving it a little stir. That certainly helped, didn't it? Yep, yeah, there we go. So the, the fresh water was too pure. We needed a few uh, free ions to float around in there so it can actually so it can actually run in one of my earlier videos for this clock I actually put some vinegar in there but it looks like the vinegar made it too acidic and it was eating through the magnesium strip in a matter of days. So I'm hoping a little bit of salt in there won't be quite so acidic. I'm actually in the process of printing a new container for this that will actually hold the little glass jar and the clock face all in one unit. So I'll drop a video about that when it's done. But yeah, a little bit of salt and we're running. So this battery, uh, this clock would normally have a little button cell battery in it. I've taken that out and wired it up, a copper plate there and a magnesium strip at the back. So it's copper and magnesium with water and now a little bit of salt in the water. In theory it shouldn't run at all on pure water but tap water isn't pure. That'll do. Hi guys, I thought I might tidy this up a bit, make it look a bit prettier. So I 3D printed a case for, that's going to fit in there, in fact it will fit in there, like that. But I'll actually poke the wires through here first, so they come up inside. And then the face, or the clock itself, should fit in there. So I'll do that. My hands will be in the way while I'm doing it, so I won't try and film it. And then we'll come back when it's finished. Huh, there we go. So it's all in a single unit to hold it all together.
The only downside is with that in the window ledge, the sun will actually affect the PLA that I've printed it from. So it'll probably warp over years, but I don't expect it'll be there for years. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave us a comment so I know how I'm doing. And somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists. Thanks again.